Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town. And would you have been more likely to click on this video if I titled it something like Cartoonist Pro Artist Draws Designs Funny Anime Vintage Boho Illustration Video? If not, well, yeah, that title is kind of a mess, but if it sounds kind of familiar, that's because on certain websites, product titles are designed around jamming in as many keywords as possible to improve their search engine optimization. In particular, sites like Shein and Timu. For example, women's durable perfume with floral fragrance is the best choice for girls. It is especially suitable for gift giving, smelly fragrance, big brand, and same fragrance. That's not the description, that's the title. And looking at these titles gave me a fun idea for an art challenge. Drawing a literal illustration based on only these garbled titles and then looking at the actual product afterwards. And sometimes those products are scary. Okay, so first up we have one piece, face lifting, strap chin, cheek lifting, bandage, V-line, lifting mask, V face lift, sleeping mask, strap band, woman gift. So despite the repetition, I'm really going to try to include as many of these keywords as I possibly can, and I'm going to point them out as I'm drawing, so this is as accurate as possible. I tried really hard not to look at the actual product that these titles belong to. Sometimes I got a glimpse of it. I think if I do this in the future, I'll probably ask Discord and we can use like the spoiler image tool to blur them out. Um, but uh, in general, this has a lot of words to describe something that is supposed to give you a V-line face. That is a beauty standard that I think is more prevalent in Asia, where instead of having like a round or otherwise shaped face, you're supposed to have sort of like that 90s anime chin where it just goes down into a sharp point. And there's a lot of stuff about lifting um, and a lot of stuff about straps. So right off the bat, I had this image of sort of like the scene from A Clockwork Orange, um, you know, the one where the actor actually got like an eye injury from the device. Uh, I think that um, in general, that was sort of my like mood inspiration for this illustration. Uh, strap was mentioned so many times, so I had the straps sort of like attaching to various different points on the face that were mentioned, such as the cheek and the face in general. Uh, and it already looks kind of like a creepypasta illustration more uh, than my usual work. Just a lot of lifting. Um, the sleeping mask part kind of threw me for a loop and also one piece because one piece is the first thing that is described So clearly this is all one implement initially. I kind of wanted to create this sort of like spaghetti uh, Monster of different straps all aligning up at the top So I had to kind of adjust that and make them all one piece uh, The clamps that I came up with look pretty horrifying They kind of look like the ones that like an old-style garter belt would use to hold up stockings uh, and no doubt this would be very very painful to use I needed to add in the sleeping mask and gift because I really want this challenge to adhere to its core concept which is using as many keywords as is physically possible and I know that they probably mean that the mask can be slept in and they're kind of implying that this will like reformat your face if you sleep in this product uh, but I'm gonna just add a actual sleeping mask on top and also a little bow to indicate that this was a gift and what a gift it must have been. Look at how happy she is. So here's my final illustration with arrows pointing to all the keywords and here is the real thing. All around me are familiar faces. Um, the real thing definitely looks more comfortable but I seriously doubt this is gonna change your face's bone structure so probably don't recommend getting it. One set, Dong Huang, Ancient style and western region style costume, blue Chinese style long dress, role playing costume with belly band and dance costume. The set includes veil, belly band, skirt, and t shirt. Guys, I'm not a detective or anything, but I'm starting to think that this might be a costume. <laughs> so, uh, the first thing I needed to look up, of course, was what Dun Huang is or what that even means. What I discovered made me surprised that I hadn't already heard about it in art history class because it's a very important city. This is a city in China that has some amazing cave temples and amazing murals inside of them. And they're really unusual for Chinese art of this time period because they're very influenced, it seems like, by art from India and other places. Uh, there's nudity in the murals, which is very uncommon for art in China at that time. And they feature these like otherworldly, really beautiful like sashes and like flowing dance costumes and it's become something that's really popular to have as a costume in China. 
At a certain point, I started to get worried because when I did put this keyword in initially, or if I combined it with the word costume, a very specific and accurate to this description image would come up and I had to like look away so that I wouldn't spoil the entire illustration. Um, but I do think that helps me with the veil and a lot of the general like clothing cues that I might not otherwise have known, which kind of goes against the challenge, but I, I really didn't know what that word was referring to, so I had to look it up a little bit. The belly band, when I searched belly band on Google, it gave me a bunch of like these maternity bands that pregnant women use to ho help hold up their heavy baby bump. Um, so I gave her one of those, though she's obviously not pregnant and that's definitely not the type of belly band that they mean, but that's what came up and so that's what I'm kind of using. I'm almost kind of going into like a search engine mode and trying to like cobble together these disparate terms into something that is like very accurate to the description and probably not accurate to the costume. So she ended up looking kind of cute. I like that they gave me a color, so I was able to utilize this color throughout the outfit, and it even helped make that ridiculous t-shirt look like it belongs a little bit more, though it definitely is the most weird juxtaposition in this image, and it was something that sort of I noticed right away when I was reading the description, because I was like, this is one part of the description that just does not go with the rest of this. So this is how she actually turned out. I ended up adding like sort of a secondary skirt underneath, um, just this flowing sort of skirt that looked more like the mural images of the dancers. And here is the actual product photo. First thing I want to say is like, I love to see natural beauty and I'm so glad that they didn't edit this image, um, we wouldn't want any unrealistic body expectations, especially we wouldn't want them to accidentally make the, her rib cage huge um, in one of the pictures instead of her chest. If you are insecure about your small rib cage and your rib cage isn't big and voluptuous like this, like don't worry. Everybody's built different, and if you don't have an enormous rib cage, then you know that's just your natural beauty, and you have to accept it. Next up we have BZB Kawaii Anime Bunny Ear Hoodies for women sweet, lovely, fuzzy, fluffy, rabbit sweater tops, cosplay jacket coats. So again, that's kind of a lot. This one's from Amazon, and at least I know that BZB is a reference to their store, so I don't really need to um, incorporate that. I feel like if I look at the store, I'm probably going to get crazy spoilers about what this looks like. The rest of it though, I actually have a pretty good idea of what it looks like and I think this one is going to be maybe the least cursed. Uh, I know what these bunny ear hoodies typically look like and I've seen animal ear hoodies before. I even have one that has cat ears on it, of course I do. Make fun of me in the comments. Sound off in the comments to make fun of me. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I decided to make it a nice long dramatic lop ear and you can see I'm already trying to make sure that I'm hitting all the keywords this time. I really want to get this one accurate. Uh, so there are a bunch of different descriptions of different items of clothing, uh, jackets, coats, sweaters, these are different things. Um, the hoodie I think we can incorporate with the jacket, but a sweater is something entirely different, at least to me. A sweater is not something that would typically like open up at any point, like it doesn't have like a zipper or buttons to open it that would be more like a cardigan or again like a hoodie so i'm going to have her having a rabbit sweater underneath her rabbit hoodie which will also represent the jacket hopefully that all made sense to you guys it barely makes sense to me but i digress uh, this one was really cute and fun and easy. Um, honestly, the anime element, I was originally going to try to come up with some kind of like actual anime character to place on here somewhere, but instead I decided to go a little bit more subtle and just have the stylings of the rest of her outfit read as more anime by giving her this pleated skirt and the knee socks or thigh highs with, you know, a little absolute territory. I feel like that gives the anime keyword a little bit of love though. In retrospect, I feel like I should have just gone for it and added some kind of like anime screen cap or something somewhere on her. I just could not figure out where to put it. And at first I really didn't like how her coloring was going because her skin just looked completely dead, but I think I kind of saved it. I warmed it up a bit. Um, I have so much trouble with <laughs> the color calibration of my tablet. I just changed it again and I think it's still wrong. But anyway, um, 
She ended up looking really cute, I think. I wanted her to look a little bit tan in comparison to the white jacket, and I also gave her these bright blue eyes to offset the pinks and purples and warmth of the rest of it. All right, so here's how all the keywords relate to the illustration, and then here is the real product. It's not cursed at all. I'm guessing that these images are stolen though because of this hella suspicious way that the background has been cropped out. I was able to find this image on AliExpress with the background, but I don't know if this one's the original either. All right, last up we have floral embroidered blouse, Victorian blouse, Mexican blouse, white blouse, blouse women, gift for her, and gift for him from Flordia Clothing on Etsy. Now, there's nowhere that makes me sadder to see this kind of weird drop shipping SEO garble kind of stuff than Etsy because Etsy used to be a really cool place where you could get amazing custom things and now it's really hard to find that stuff anymore. It's definitely still out there, but a lot of the actual original creators get steamrolled by people who are taking shortcuts, um, but we will get more into that later. Meanwhile, incorporating all these keywords wasn't too difficult. Um, we have a lot of descriptors, but not too many of them are clashing necessarily. We have a time period, Victorian blouse, and a location or like cultural influence, Mexican blouse. So we're going to be drawing a Mexican blouse that is styled around the stylings in the country at the time of the Victorian era. So um, there were some really cool pieces of clothing uh, going on during that time and uh, I was seeing a lot of images from like the Mexican Revolution. It made me way more interested in this time period in Mexico. Um, but uh, there were a couple different designs that I kept seeing everywhere and I knew I needed to incorporate embroidery because that's another thing that is clearly stated in this title. Now this title isn't nearly as bad with the weird SEO garble um, versus some of the other ones, uh, but I feel like for Etsy it is pretty bad, um, especially because I don't know if this is actually going to be accurate, like if this is going to be a very traditional Mexican blouse with real embroidery and that kind of thing. I just don't get that vibe um, from this seller who has sold so many things. It just does not seem sustainable or possible. Um, but anyway, uh, I decided to try to warm up this image with the shading and I incorporated lots of little details. The buttons up to the collar um, all the way up to the throat is very Victorian, I feel like. And then this flared little ruffle um, kind of around the bust line. Uh, I was seeing a lot in some of these cool uh, constructed Mexican blouses. I just wanted to incorporate that. I do think there's some design features that are clashing a little bit or that don't actually make sense with the anatomy of the blouse. Um, oh, and I had a ton of fun doing the embroidery. I just utilized one of Clip Studio's most fun features where you can have your brush essentially have a um, black line around it by default and it makes it look way more like embroidery. So here is my final product and then the actual product is here. It is a blouse, it is floral embroidered, it is kind of white. I'm not getting so much of a Victorian vibe, but maybe that's just me. I'm almost positive that the source of these images are from this Turkish brand uh, that I cannot pronounce, but I do think this is the origin because this seems to be quite a popular brand in Turkey and they utilize the same model with a lot of other clothes. And on that website, they no longer sell this blouse, so I'm not exactly sure what you're gonna get if you buy it from Etsy. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Huge thank you to my wonderful patrons, including Twink on a Sink, Raccoon Jam, The Aidenverse, Scott Wilson, Grexius, Olia, Liddy Savior, Brandon Stark, CB, Cosby F, Lucy Amajiki, Liv Liv, Salty Jackrabbit, Raven's Crow, Zosalot, T Hill Music, Jabber Dabber Doo, Kadarius, Deadly Nightshade Art, Astral Fox Art, The Expressive Poker Face, Tsuvaki, Cutie Pie, Ice Cream Pal, JJ Jade, and of course, blah 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 blah.